Let's see. Surveillance room? Let's go to surveillance room. Let's see what we can see. Or the not. door was firmly. Uh, I don't have the key anymore. Wait, can I? No. Okay. Bathroom. Oh. Uh. Um. Let me take some things. It seemed the laundry there was neatly sorted and washed according to differently colored urinals. Ew. Lily thought that you can take cleanliness a bit too far sometimes. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Hi. Vidi 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 boosh. Welcome to the laundrette. That was your cue to say, this is supposed to be a laundrette. And I'll answer, of course. Oh, admittedly, it's a little rusting. But necessity is the mother of invention. Mother knows best. And now, we're doing our laundry in the urinals. To wishy-washy for you, what other choice do we have? Exactly none. You don't have to, you know. Just make sure that the fabrics are separated properly. The toilet sanitizers really stay. We'll do the red laundry in the urinal with the red toilet sanitizer. Yellow laundry in the urinal with the yellow toilet sanitizer. Blue laundry in the urinal with the blue toilet sanitizer. And green laundry in the urinal with the green toilet sanitizer. If you want to try it, just show me some clothing with the right color. Then you can use the matching urinal as often as you want. Okay. Um. Hmm. All right, well. Uh, I don't need to do that yet, so I'm uh, gonna, I'm gonna just, you know. Is this all that we have? We only have this little place here? And that's... The door was... Yeah, that's locked. Okay, I guess this is the only place we can go? Or is it? I probably could have gone other places. Let's... Oh yeah, there was this place. Ah, hi everybody! It's the king, and it's the, the guy, and the girl that likes the guy in Droogle Jug. Hello, Lil. You're not going to play with- Oh, Uncle. you know you what? Know. You know what? You know what? I'm to the world transformation. Uh, all right, let's talk to people. Um, My goodness, who do we have here then? Another player! Yippee. Don't pay any attention to him. Peter just sees black all the time. He was born that way. <laughs> That's true. Peter suffers from color blindness. Struggle jug. Well said, loyal friend. We all have our crosses to bear. Oh, yeah? Do you all wake up every morning knowing that one day you'll lie dead at the foot of a traffic light? Not exactly. But Druggle Jug, for instance, mixes up his blues and greens. You can't really compare the two. Your girlfriend Petra mixes up her yellows and greens. She's not my girlfriend. And we, King Adrian, mix up our reds and yellows. You should have been there when we played the board game. Sorry, Peter almost I wanted to end my misery. Afterwards, we decided never to play a board game again. Only fantasy role-playing games instead. They are you funny. decided that. And what They're did fine. we just say? It's so exciting! We are a group of adventurers in the legendary world of Home Motico. Oh, please! Why don't you join us? Struggle Jug? Not so fast. If the fair maiden wishes to join us in battle, she must first prove herself worthy. Huh? She must complete a task that puts her heroic valor to the test. Yes. Just like, tell her what? to order a pizza already so we can get on with it. Uh, um, so be it. She shall order us pizza. Yeah. Um, I want broccoli on the pizza, but no tomatoes, please. Druggle jug. Oh, no broccoli! Druggle jug? 
bananas aren't bad either, but I could just die for broccoli. Oh, yes. Please do. For that, I'd even happily have bananas on a pizza. You only eat blueberries anyway. Yes. I like blueberries. What? But in this life, you never get what you want anyway. <clears throat> Upon the order of the king, blueberries will be banned from the pizza. Instead, knowest that tomatoes will grace the pizza dough from now on. But I don't like tomatoes! Lily had heard enough. It seemed impossible to get a pizza that everyone liked. Hmm. You... Struggle jug. Yeah, you heard him. Bringest thou the pizza first, then thou may join us in play. I was just asking what it's game really you're playing. Easy. That's what I wanted to All know. All you need are dust, pencils, like, paper. Of D &D. And don't forget to bring a tendency for humiliating yourself. Struggle jug. I, all, I, I have a tendency to roll lots of natural ones, so I mean, you know. Um. Struggle jug. Don't drug you. You have to forgive him. He's colorblind, as we all are. Peter mixes up his reds and his greens. Adrian mixes up his reds and his yellows. Droggy mixes up his greens and his blues. And I, I think these are connected. My yellows and my greens. Funny, isn't it? Uh huh. Um. You're probably wondering why Droggy has a green pillow on his head. I would right? like to know. Yes. Droggle jug? My goodness, she's right. What on earth are you wearing? You're embarrassing me in front of my new subject. Struggle, Chuck. <laughs> yes, it is a little strange. Wait until you've heard the explanation. Today should have been Blue Pillow Day. <sighs> Struggle, Chuck. Did I just... I think I just got... Uh, yep, I just got the other thing. I don't know why, but I got it. Druggle Jug, I believe our guest is searching for the tyrant known as Dr. Marcel. Yes. Deliver her thy news. Druggle Jug. Druggle Jug, Druggle Jug, Druggle Jug. Don't forget to mention the helicopter. Druggle Jug. And was never seen again. Bravo. Well told, loyal friend. Since then, these lands have returned to the wise rule of a magnanimous king. We can do Edna whatever we want. Yeah. Does yeah. that mean I can finally sleep now? No. Oh, good. Well, I guess that's done for now. I'm gonna just, you know, bye. See ya. I think that with the credit card that I got here, I should be able to uh, use this. It was hopeless. It is just completely hopeless. There is no hope anywhere for anything. Magical Girl transformation. Every single time. So, if we... It, it's, it, it's accepted, but... Maybe if we punch some holes in it... Dr. Marcel would surely be pleased. With the help of his credit card, Lily made some confetti. Yeah. I don't think that's the important part. But here we go. If we go back down, we should be able to open up another furnace anyway. Yeah, we win. To the roof. Oh, hey, we're gonna get to talk to B-Man. What are you contemplating out here, B-Man? Hello, stranger. Before you say anything, please take a deep breath. <gasps> and is that what freedom smells like? Or is it just regular air consisting of oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, soot from the asylum's new chimney, and a touch of diesel oil from the garage. Probably the second one. <sighs> I don't want to seem melodramatic, but I'm somewhat skeptical about this so-called freedom. Ever since Dr. Marcel started neglecting his duties as head of this asylum, it's us, the patients, that carry the burden of creating our own boundaries. And before I'm able to measure up to this freedom, I do have to ask myself a few things. Maybe there are such things as good boundaries. And even in an ideal case, can I really decide where my own freedom starts and stops? It so happens that no one is preventing me from leaving the asylum. 
Does that mean I'm free? Can I just fly away, spread my wings, and leap from the asylum roof? The urge is there. Just like any bee, I long to buzz so across fields of flowers collecting honey. Right. But I'm still fighting it. Something about this freedom stinks. I'm that... skeptic, although I can I some Okay, that's that's all that we get with him. Hmm. Maybe we have to give him something, although I'm not entirely sure what. But we don't actually have very much to say. I don't know. No. Oh. Moths fluttered around the they were apparent Searching for food. I do have some food, but I think I need these for the other puzzle. Ah! Maybe? Alright. Oh, no, you know. oh yeah, because of the fire and, and the things and... Boop. There we go. Then the moths seem to lose their appetite. Fine. Let's see how it is. Mmm, that smells good. But even if the illusion is almost perfect, it's only artificial flavors and chemical esters. Yeah. An almost perfect illusion, but not real. Like with everything here in the asylum, it's only a half-hearted attempt to trick us into thinking that we're free. And now oh, that no okay. one is stopping us from leaving the asylum, it provides us with a welcome excuse to refuse to leave. Right you are, stranger. I'm just running away from my responsibilities. As the me. responsibility to myself, to accept the deal that the world out there has offered me. I thank you. I've made up my mind. I can't just sit around here doing nothing anymore. I should buzz across fields of flowers and collect honey. Uh -huh. Toodaloo, asylum. Hey-ho, freedom. Lily was glad that she had helped the bee man. I think we just killed Soon someone. Soon he would be in a better place. We we just killed someone else.